crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I wanted to send that shit to you when I seen it too. The Brian Pepper seen that? Oh, it's them. so good. Nah. It's like the best thing ever. It's ridiculous. Seen that, brother. It's ridiculous. Just yeah. pulled up on him at the bus stop. But I ain't gonna lie. If you from LA and you my age and you was on buses and trains, you know that you this a nigga you see. I used to see <laughs> that nigga on the Crenshaw bus all the time. All the time. When I was a teenager taking the bus, I used to see that buff ass nigga all the time walking up on, on bitches trying to get him to do and shit yeah. all the time yeah, it's like yeah. a known He's LA like folklore that nigga you'll see this nigga on trains I seen this nigga with my own eyes like one time like three times in one day Bro, he literally had like a big deal with like a big company and then he lost it because he was meeting random girls and them and then getting them tested the next day the next day is crazy which is real bad, bad. if I was in be the littlest nigga everybody's baby mama actually that's, that's what we need <laughs> that's what we need hey littlest nigga Everybody, baby, baby mama, mama though. Nigga, sure. faith in it. All right, let's just start this off officially. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. I'm in here with my man Almighty, mm. and we having a sit down today with Fresno's very own Bay 300. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? It's I don't know pleasure, how much man. of that Brian Plumber conversation they're gonna keep in there, but <laughs> cut all that shit. No, nah, I was talking crazy about. <laughs> That could be spicy. <laughs> anyway, um, we've been trying to make this interview happen for a minute. They've been telling me, Adam, you got to get a bulldog on the pod. So I'm happy that we finally made it happen. Yeah, for mm, sure, man. It's right. a pleasure. No, nah, 100%. So, all right, tell us a little bit about growing up in Fresno. Man, I ain't going to lie. Growing up, shit. I had both my parents a little bit. But uh, my mom, you feel me? I ain't going to lie. Mom kind of, you know, on drugs a little bit. F***ing around. Pops too, you feel me? But really, he since twelve years old, my pops was in CYA, so all he knows is game banging, you feel me? So mm. when he gets, you know, he has me. This is my older brother, so he has me. You know, I'm the youngest one. I got another brother that passed away. R.P. My brother D. Oh, shit. You feel me? He just, yeah, he R. just, R. He just had a uh, overdose. Me, real so. brother, same mom, R. same dad. Real R. R. brother, my brother. When did that happen? Like not uh, even a month ago. June six. Did he overdose? Yeah, yeah he OD, oh, man. Fuck. I for uh, yeah. OD off a of meth. Off a of so. crystal meth. What? Yeah. Damn, that's so, terrible, man. So that's the only ones we got up. now is just me and bro. Me and bro. Me pops. That's it. But, but so what, what? What was your dad telling you about the streets and about what life was gonna be like for you and whatnot? Well, see, that's the thing. It wasn't really like nothing to tell me. We was born in this. Like mm -hmm. I didn't have an option. My dad was already what it is like a bulldog. So like when, when we already came out, it was. You going to the homies. My uncles is already around. They all homies. So it's like I didn't have a choice to be like, hey, I want to go over here. Like, nah, I'm, this is where I'm at. Like, I'm already right here. I'm it, born into this. It was never like he was trying to get you to be a square and stay out of that. Nah, nah, nah. It wasn't like my dad wanted me to game bang, but it was like this the lifestyle we live in. Like, this is our situation. We struggling. We So how can I keep my son away from that mm. when he being a father and keeping me everywhere he at? Mm. So it's like. You being older, y'all jump off the porch at the same time or you was a little earlier? Well, me, I'm a, I'm a couple years older than you. I'm 27. Mm. So my little bro, he was 20 what? I'm 23. 20, 23, so, you know. But I was doing my shit out there on my own, you feel me? But I never bring bro with me because he was younger. Mm. You feel me? I let my bro stay at home. And then, you feel me? I was doing my own thing. And then as he got older, he just started doing his own thing. You feel mm. me? So it was just y'all three siblings growing up? Yeah. Just us. Yeah. Mm. Just That's us it. three. And then, uh, like, going to school, it was cool, though. I was a good kid. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I was that type of kid, like... I'm doing good in class, but in the outs, they don't know what I'm doing because I didn't want my teachers and that to know. Like, mm. my dad taught us smart. Like, whatever you do, like, do this shit smart. You know, I'm 23 years old. I've only been in county jail one time. Mm. So it's like the way we move is strategic. We don't move like crash dummies or none of that. Like, we learned on an early age, like, we stick together. You feel me? Everything we do, we do together. together. Mm. Like, me and my brothers, we never fought each other. We, we, we ain't raised like that. We like, do that. we raised like this. You feel me? Like, so yeah. it's real different. Like, everywhere I went, it was just in my blood like I couldn't hide from oh I want to be over here where, where the good kids are I want to be over here you know at school yeah but when I come home this this what it is this is my environment mm. my mom a bulldog my my dad a bulldog my uncle a bulldog you know so when they coming around I'm seeing bulldog jerseys and you know everything like but what are they telling you about the people that you don't get along with or that you got to be looking out for or that or whatnot I feel like that's got to be like the hardest part of having a kid and getting them into the street shit is having to explain the rivalries and, and explain like what's gonna happen if you run into somebody or what you're supposed to do. Like that that to me seems like the, the most challenging part. No, nah, yeah, for sure. Pops was just like, you know, like this just laid down. Like I ain't really trying to get too much into no politics, but 
just like, look, son, this is what it is, and this is who we got problems with. Like, you see these colors, or you see these hats, or you see this, you know this, this style of dressing, or like, you see somebody doing this or talking like this, then you know. Yeah. So it's like, it's a certain way for everything. Like, if you if you do your homework on Bulldogs, like, we don't even talk like Mexicans. Yeah, we, talk we act like, like niggas. We act you feel like me? Blacks. Like, Clearly, niggas. We don't even I'll act be, like, like, even look at the way we dress. The way we like, dress. We, we dress like, like niggas. You feel me? So, like, but you take pride in that. You don't give a f- about keeping with any Mexican traditions necessarily? Nah, I just, nah. you feel me? We us. Like, we don't got no... act like us. We, we because f- I feel like, well, or better way to uh, form that is, do y'all feel like because y'all not Serenios or Norteños, y'all purposely did that, like, we gonna do our own okay. thing? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, Type shit? Yeah, like, I feel like, yeah, we are. we is our own culture. We our have own our own shit. culture. Like, like I said, our, my hood, like... You know, like, no disrespect to them, but, like, down south, they got blue rags. Mm-hmm. You feel me? They got red rags, too, but up north, they got red rags. Like, my hood, we don't, we don't, we could use a red rag, but my hood, my colors is black. Mm-hmm. So, we like use black, black rags. rags. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, it's different. Like, we got our own different Bro, shit. We like, got our own thing. I want to get more into the history of that shit, if y'all familiar, of the bulldog shit. Maybe a little later, you feel me? But another thing I want to ask is, for people who don't know, what's the demographic like in Fresno? Like, you feel me, the races? Is it blacks, Mexicans, white? Like, everything. What is oh, it? Yeah, Everything. everything blacks mexicans whites asians Every, everything everything like we everything. got everything out there there's mm. every gang out there everything. bloods crips north that all that like you yeah. feel me mm. it's just everything in one and we like all a melting and pie. we in the middle too yeah, we so we central middle. valley so it's like we surrounded by everybody we in we in the middle so it's what's like what's the next biggest city close to y'all what is it probably uh i wouldn't even what what you thinking like big city, like you mean like like this big or like not not, not this big, like maybe, but like biggest Fresno, damn near. Like you feel me, like the next biggest place that y'all might fuck with niggas or fuck with, like the nearest shit. You feel me? That politics might. I ain't might gonna lie, we don't, I ain't gonna lie. Probably, we, probably we, no. Like, honestly, we don't fuck with nobody. That's nobody. the thing. Like us, we we, we like yeah, everybody. Either or, I mean, you feel me? If yeah. niggas beef, like what's the closest city type shit besides Fresno? It is hella mm. far from. Yeah, like, what I'm saying. Like, what's, else. That's what's what I'm close? saying. Like, oh, but how far is Merced? You got, like, you you got, got drive like you got 45 Madera? minutes north? Nah, but I ain't gonna lie, no disrespect to Merced, you feel me? But they not, they not with us. Modesto, <laughs> you goes Merced, Modesto, Stockton, okay. and then Sac. Okay. So, so more like, so I call it like Stockton, you say? You probably Damn, yeah, like Stockton far. or Sac, like, but that's like still that, far. Yeah, that's still far. That's like what? Three that's hours? That's like three almost? hours away, yeah. yeah sure. So it's like, we really our own shit. We like in the middle just ourselves. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's different. We different, like. Yeah, because like, you can basically tell what what cities have what level of prominence by how big the font is on Google Maps because like so according to this Los Angeles like big font and then above that Bakersfield Fresno they have pretty good sized fonts but then, like, Sacramento has a bigger font, you know. But L.A. got the biggest font. <laughs> See, I ain't even know no shit yeah, like that. Oh, San Francisco <laughs> got a big-ass <laughs> one, though. San Francisco big. That's a fact, though. San yeah. Francisco population Frisco, is huge, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. So, for the people who not from Fresno, like, bro, describe what it's like growing up in Fresno. Teenage you, what's the typical you for me day? Like, when, when, when you growing up, what y'all do? Like, Same mm-hmm. shit, being in the hood. Being in the hood, going outside, trying to, you feel me, teenage, trying to find something to find do. Fucking do Fuck something. around, probably do some shit. Smoking some weed with the homie, trying to, you know, Just, hustle. Like, trying to survive shit. out there. Out there, it's that like, you trying to bro. survive. Like, you feel me? Like, you got niggas dying over there. You got niggas doing it, hustling over there. You got, you feel me, the homies over there. So it's like, you can really move around that motherfucker. And do what you want Like me I was just nigga, Out there trying to hustle You feel me Breaking on something Trying to find me a bitch Or something like Cause I was listening to you On another interview Where you were saying That you kind of get along With everybody uh, in, in Fresno Or at least you were When you were younger Yeah yeah We get along with Mostly everybody in Fresno But it's just like mm. It's little times Like you know Some shit might happen, happen. It's, it's crunch time shit. You feel me It's crunch time So it's like different. It, it be weird out there man Like it, we could be cool today And something might happen you Tomorrow feel me? we ain't cool no more mm-hmm. So explain that as much as you can Not to you feel me Reveal all the politics But like so Y'all don't got no Real prominent beefs With no other hoods In Fresno Nah, I ain't gonna lie, we do. Okay. Niggas on the west side, if y'all know, y'all know who I'm talking about, but we ain't gonna say none of them names because we ain't. We it's ain't not like, as wild as it could be. Nah, it's as wild yeah, as it could be, but we not oh, letting okay. them niggas shine, though, yeah, you know? Gonna give them nah, that's act. what you mean by you feel me, niggas get yet. along with everybody. Because so like, College Street really stepping up, like these niggas know we gonna leave that in the streets, but ask about the hood. Like, we really, you feel me? We got a couple niggas on the west side, and it's a couple bulldogs that we got that we, we funk with, but hmm. you feel me? So we even. 
happen. We even funk with each other. We even that's funk crazy. with each other, but like, you feel me? I'm not going to. So it's separate bulldog cliques that's scattered across the city yeah, type shit. It's not just College Street. We got other, like, Esau, we got, Esau, other, we got other hoods mm. and shit too. 